Hello, I'm Tim Topper, the Tech Topic Technician. Now listen up. If you have cam follower bearings installed in your facility, then maintaining a great performance from those bearings will be something you're interested in. You can help obtain great bearing performance from the get-go if you keep some particulars in mind during installation. Because it's an optional part of the installation, in applications where relubrication will be performed, the user may be inclined to discard the oil hole plug. Do install the oil hole plug in applications where the bearing will not be relubricated. Installing the plug helps protect the bearing from contaminant entry, such as fine grit, metal dust, or liquids, promoting longer operating life. Longer life means less downtime and fewer bearing replacements. Do not misplace the oil hole plug for your bearing. Plugs are provided with all McGill stud type cam followers. Better safe than sorry for sure. Do you know about using a press fit? It can be used when installing stud type cam followers. Press fitting is when you have an interference fit, requiring you to apply pressure on the stud end face of the bearing. Be sure to apply the pressure through the stud end face, preferably using an arbor press. A loose housing fit can allow the stud to move within the housing during operation. This movement can create wear and damage to the stud and reduce the bearing's operating life. No sir, that is not a good thing. Using a press fit on the stud helps to create proper support of the stud in application. During installation, do not hammer directly on the bearing. Doing this can cause damage to your bearing or injury to those involved. Nobody wants to be injured. Now, let's focus specifically on yoke-type bearings. Please do back up the bearings end plates. Yoke-type bearings require a housing to support the end plates. Do not shirk on keeping the end plates supported. I'm pretty sure you don't want your bearings to become disassembled during operation. Keeping those end plates supported maintains the bearings proper assembly in operation and helps avoid premature application breakdown and possible injury due to disassembly. It will also prevent unnecessary bearing replacement and unnecessary cost. Now you may know that stud type cam followers require a certain amount of torque applied to the locking nuts in order to adequately lock the stud in place. Clamping torque information is provided in our bearing catalog as well as in instruction sheets. Do torque McGill bearing nuts accordingly. Those charts are there for a reason. Don't think you know better and over or under torque the nuts. Over torque can cause bearing damage and under torque can allow bearing disassembly. No, you'd do better to listen to the bearings manufacturers. Excessive torque can result in stud elongation or fracture. Inadequate torque can allow the cam follower to become disassembled from the housing. Keeping the proper torque as shown in the bearings chart will maintain clamping pressure adequate to lock the stud in place keeping the bearing in its intended position. Everyone knows that maintenance of your bearings is important, but everyone might not know the costs that negligence after installation can incur. Some applications need little maintenance, such as those involving slower speeds, fairly clean environments, and ambient temperatures. But relubrication becomes more crucial as application speed, temperature, or contamination levels increase. Do regularly inspect and, as necessary, relubricate your bearings. Keeping your bearings in tip-top condition maximizes their operational performance and life. Regular check-ins are also a good opportunity to inspect the state of their installation and working environment. Don't neglect your bearings. I don't need to tell you that negligence can result in permanent damage and shorten operating life. In short, you're wasting your money, so keep on top of things. Well, that's it for this Tech Topic. See you next time.